Hey everyone, Phil from 3DP UK Tech Channel. Today I'm showing the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. This was kindly sent over by the Real Sam Prentice for a co-review. You see the link on the screen. Check him out, some amazing content he's got there. So like I say, this is the Bamboo Labs A1 Mini. Now, it wasn't quite what the community were expecting. I think everybody was expecting a larger build volume. But for the price uh, range that they're, they're putting this out for, I think it's going to attract a lot more people. So let's take a look at their website. So as you can see, it was £408. Um, you've got the um, combo printing. It's a plug and play, uh, multicolor printing, like I say, full auto calibration, active flow compensation. Um, it also has the active motor noise, so it does like a, a calibration for that and lowers the noise on the motor. Um, you can do a bench in about 14 minutes and you can also sync up with the studio and the handy app. Now some of the specs here, um, it's a 180 by 180, 180, 300 degree hot end, um, maximum build temperature about 80 degrees and a maximum tool speed of 500 mms. So in the box you get the A1 Mini, the AMS stand, AMS body, an accessory box, a spool holder, purge wiper, AMS spool holders and a few other sort of freebies that they put in there. So this is the um, Bamboo A1 as you can see and the AMS Mini. Um, so as you can see it's pretty much the same sort of system as the Bamboo Labs X1 AMS unit um, but obviously on the smaller stand. And as you can see from the sides, it holds four spools still. Um, very much the same sort of um, drive system that they have on the original AMS. Um, but because of the way it's laid out, it's actually quite easy to use. Um, having connected up one spool already, I had no issues. Um, and the actual button was a lot easier to push in in comparison to the original AMS on the carbon. Um, these are all numbered, so they're a lot easier to use in that respect. Um, so you won't make any mistakes on what spool it is, because obviously having the AMS, it was one, two, three, and four, so it was fairly obvious. And obviously the connection for the spool, as you push that on, it just clips into place. So using spools such as 250 grams, 500 grams, and even cardboard are not gonna be an issue. Um, as you can see, you just feed up the filament through the bottom, and push in the button and it starts pulling through and that will drive right round to the actual um, printer itself. So overall very nice looking like I say a, lot, a little bit wobbly that's the only sort of complaint I would have about that. And a big shout out to PCBWay.com today's video sponsor. If you head on over to their website they do all sorts of PCB prototyping, PCB assemblies, rigid flex, advanced PCBs, even CNC and 3D printing services. Now competitive prices and then some amazing projects that you can go out on for and like I say head on over and um, they have amazing deals and competitions that you can be involved in and that's PCBWay.com today's video sponsor thanks to PCBWay.com. So as you can see, the A1 uses the push fit system for the AMS unit. So the four colors come in through the top, in through the extruder. Now on the right hand side, you'll notice that there is the um, familiar um, filament cutter. So this drives to the right hand side and pushes onto a connection point. Now, as you can also see, it sports the full metal linear rails and bearings. Um, this will enable a smoother um, movement so it has the 300 degree all metal hot end. Also, um, once the filament has been bled through, it will, um, once it's been cut, it will disperse down to the left hand side. Also has the dual part cooling. Once again, the linear bed rail. Um, also like the whole uh, cable tidy and how um, secure it looks. Um, this is, like I say, um, a 180 by a 180 by 180 build volume, so not too big and not quite what the community was expecting. It also um, sports the bamboo texture PEI plate, which was included in the box. Um, so let's head over to the um, main screen now. 
So it's a touch screen as well, much like the others. Um, the screen size is 2.4 inch and uh, 262 color. Um, quite fiddly in terms of the size, but um, I suppose if you use one of those um, special screen pens, it wouldn't be too bad. Um, you can have the external spool or the AMS system, so you can choose which one you would like to use. Um, same again, just make sure that it's all um, loaded up correctly so whatever spool you put on there you can change and edit what it is so in my case today I'm going to be using the bamboo pink um, but I also have three other colors I'm going to attach so right now that's showing up on the system so let's head on and look at the rest of the um, screen itself so you have the control so in here you'll find the nozzle temperature the bed temperature and you can make changes to the speed to so the silent standard sport and ludicrous which is pretty much the same as the x1 carbon that i have um, you can change the temperature of the nozzle in five um, minus five plus 30. Um, you have the bed temperature once again change that and you have an on and off light as well which shines up just near the actual um, camera that's on the right hand side as well so with this camera you can carry out time lapse in much like the um, x1 carbon and the p1p and the p1s if you have those so let's take a look at the screen um, so you see the xyz um, we're going to click on that so basically that's just where you can home all the different um, axes um, so we're just going to press home and see what that does as you can see it does the usual homing I must admit looking at this now and how smooth the axis are running I do think the um, the linear rails help with this um, the stability is definitely something that is key to the bamboo lab um, printers so with the full calibration a1 handles various calibrations all by itself it meticulously calibrates the Z offset bed level, vibration resonance, and nozzle pressure for every print job automatically. So let's head back to the screen, settings now. Um, so we've got the count info, what firmware it's on, uh, the Wi-Fi router it's connected to, and the calibration. Um, what type of device it is, the number, screen off time, etc. Um, you also have an assistant, so if there's any sort of warnings there. And then your print files, which you'll see on the screen. So what I'm going to do now is um, briefly show you how to connect up um, the actual filament to the AMS light. So it's quite simple really, um, depending on what part you're connecting it up to. So you can see these arms, what you want to do is push that as far as you can on. So as you're pushing it up, let's zoom in a bit closer to make you see that. Um, so you just want to press this button here and the AMS unit will automatically start feeding it into the Bowden tube. Um, it will stop at a certain point, which is about now. And that's pretty much it. That's as how easy it is to load up the um, filament. So let's go ahead and uh, connect up the white. So like I say, what you want to do is make sure the spool pushes on. Um, you want to hold the other side because obviously it'll tip over. Wind that back and once again, making sure you're putting it into the right AMS. So just check the numbering, press the button in and that auto feeds into the Bowden tube again. You want to do that for all four if you're thinking of connecting up all four, which in my case I will be. And then lastly, um, for me, I'm connecting up the yellow now, um, and that's just gonna do exactly the same thing. Press that button in. To make sure you actually put it into the right connection. I was trying to feed it into the same one I'd already done. So press it in, and away we go. That feeds into the Bowden tube. So now I have all four colors. Just making sure that the um, spools definitely connected up. Head and do a quick print. So the one I've selected was on the SD card already. Um, it's a multi-color Benchy. Um, it's going to print in three different color layers. So it's nothing too intense. It's quite a simple print. 
Um, so right now it's just um, heating up the bed temperature. Um, as you can see, these are my four colors. These are all going in through these Bowden tubes. And the one number three, which is flashing, this is currently the one that's in the nozzle. So as you can see, the nozzle is bleeding out what was in there. Um, and what that will do is that I'll flick to the right hand side and knock the, um, as everybody says in the community, the poop. Um, this one doesn't have a chute, it just has like a little tray as you can see. Um, it knocks to the right hand side and just disperses it onto the floor basically. As you can see the extruders pulling back. So it takes quite a while just to purge that through but once, once it's complete it will just knock it off which you'll see. Um, it will do that for all three colours um, that's going to be for this print. Um, it's going to happen any moment now. It just knocks to the right and shoot it off to the side, as you can see. And it's just going to do a purge line. So it doesn't do any registration. And because it's a multicolour print, it's doing like a, um, a bleed through on the right hand side. And now it's started to print. So let's go over some of the specs again for the A1 Mini. So the build vol volume is 180 by 180 by 180. It's an all metal hot end, capable of up to 300 degrees. It's a 0.4 nozzle um, included, but you can change it to a 0 0.2, 0 0.6, or even a 0 0.8. Comes standard with the Bamboo Lab Texture PEI plate, which I really like. The build plate uh, temperature is 80 degrees. Uh, maximum speed at tool head is about 500 mms. Um, the type of filaments it supports is PLA, PETG, TPU and PVA, but it isn't recommended for some of the high temperature, obviously because it not being enclosed. It does come with a monitoring camera, and so that's capable of doing some time lapse supporting. Support um, comes with a filament sensor, power loss recovery, and a filament tangle sensor. So, um, like I say, you can pick up this as a total unit. So in the box, you get the A1 Mini, the AMS light stand, AMS light body, accessory box, spool holder, purge wiper, AMS light rotary, spool holders times four, and the build plate. So once again, it's doing a purge. Um, so we're finished with the yellow. Um, and now we're going to be purging the blue through. As you can see, it's starting to go into the chute um, and it won't be long until it's discharged. There you go. And now I just do a final purge and before it goes back onto the benchy, it will just go through the bleed on the um, right hand side of the boat. I think it'll be quite interesting to see once this um, printer is launched to the market in October, um, what sort of modifications people would like to come out with. Um, maybe coming up with something for a, bit, a better way of um, having the AMS unit on the right hand side so it doesn't take up so much footprint, maybe above. I don't know whether that's something that can happen. Um, like I say, um, straight straight away we're through to the color. Um, pretty, pretty impressive speeds. Um, the vibration of that, so the calibration was already done prior to handing over to me for a review show you a few prints but first of all um thanks for watching um drop me a like and subscribe on my channel um but yeah so over the last few days i've just been running a few tests nothing too um intense just some prints that were already on the sd card um obviously having this from the real sam prentice he'd actually preloaded some little tags that he's taken um away with him um done it in the colors I'd already had on the AMS so it's not quite what it's supposed to be and this was the Benchy that I showed earlier on in the video um, just a multi-layer color so once again nothing too intense so not many, many um, filament changes with that one um, but yeah so overall pretty good quality the overhangs and no sort of visible ringing Here's a time lapse of the 3D print bunny, um, which I'll leave a link in the description. This is the aeroplane. And this just shows sort of overhangs and stuff like that. So overall, the uh, Bamboo Labs A1 Mini, um, really impressive. I do like it. Um, having had the Bamboo Labs X1 Carbon, this would definitely appeal to sort of the lower end um, price range. So what it sort of brings it out to the whole community. So overall, very impressed. 
um, noticing online that the tool head is really easy to change literally pop the front cover off and uh, undo the clip so once again thanks for watching um, this is 3dp uk tech channel and this was the bamboo labs a1 mini thanks to sam prentice for sending this over for a co-review